What would you do if you walked up on somebody and they're holding their backswing for 10 seconds? Probably say get off the course. And then proceed to literally hit the fairway. Because you literally hit the fairway with no backswing. Hey! <sighs> All right, welcome back to the channel. The Stephen Quesadilla here, and already know the vibes, boys. We're out here doing something a little different. It's called the swing back. You want to try that again? The swingless, the back swing. The no back. Oh my swing god. The no back swing challenge. That's what I said. I said it the first time, like always. Before we get into it, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're old, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you want a horse to watch you sleep, go ahead and like the video. I'll send one over to your house. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. It costs money to do that. In today's challenge, we're going to be playing four holes, no back swing, three par fours, and one par three. So let's jump into it, boys. It's, I'm fun, it's fun to try to watch you talk. I. No, it's it's fun to watch you be small, but I don't talk about that. I'm not running on like three hours of sleep. Once again, you know the vibes out here. Yeah, the vibes, um, boys. All right, like Matt, it. go ahead and start it off. So basically, how it's gonna go is you literally can't take a backswing. You have to, like you can't do this and then hold it. You have to physically start. Get your arms out of here. You have to go like this and then swing. Yeah, and you gotta hold it for at least three seconds, so you don't yeah. no cheating. All right, we're gonna have Mark Matt start off. This is a 400. And nine yard par four, dog leg left. There is the pin over there. A little bit of breeze, but we're gonna see what he can do. Oh, frick. Yeah, you always. I always like do that in. little push. You can't so do weird. That. You gotta just go straight down from it. That's what makes it so hard. Woo! That's a skyer, but it's still gonna be, be good. Short. Get over the water. Water? Yeah, yes. just short of that bunker. That's not a bad drive. Where are you running off to? This video was highly requested by a lot of people, so I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, Garrett, go ahead. Why am I even practicing? Why are you practicing? I, can you hear that? That sounded terrible. Wait. No. Did that go over the road? He hit the cart path. That's a, like a 300 yard drive. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fine. But Someone just talking the backswing about what we're doing. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, Make no, that was hilarious. Yeah. So, guys, there, there's guys on the tee box over from us, and right as I was at the top of my backswing, he said, "You see those boys holding their backswing for like five seconds," and then that was right when I was swinging. So I kind of laughed, but it ended up being okay. If I hit this pure, it's an automatic like from whoever's watching. Ten thousand. I mean, other thing, I like when zebras watch my videos. So get your pet zebra out here. Okay, if anybody actually has a pet zebra out there, that's kind of le that's DM me because I want one too. That's kind of legendary. It honestly, Matt kind of looks like a zebra. Look at this dude. Um, wait, before I get into this, this just makes my slice like a hundred times worse. So we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it. Hey, actually hit it. Get up. That's good. What do you mean get up? Oh. Jeez, he hit that far. I, I that smacked it out there. I think bogey's gonna be the way to win this challenge, honestly. I think birdies, man. If you make a birdie, I will literally slap you with my toes. Okay, if someone makes a birdie in today's challenge, the video has to get a 10 million likes. 10 million likes. I mean, if there's 2,000 views, then it better have 10 million likes. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Psychologically, it makes sense. What would you do if you walked up on somebody and they're holding their backswing for 10 seconds? I would, I would laugh at them just like those people did at us and then probably say get off the course. And then proceed to literally hit the fairway. Cause you literally hit the fairway, no backswing. Still like 300 out though, bro. I, if your pet camel watches, <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth. Do what I say, do what I say. Don't you dare take a backswing, cause I'm literally giving you five strokes. I, I mean, I'll take it. I'm still gonna get up and down for four. I ch see. That's the problem. You can't. Your tempo is so messed up, and my tempo is not even there right now. <laughs> okay. Look at this. See that divot? That's aimed over there. Yeah, and look where the ball went. The How did the ball go over there? It's not making any sense, but yeah, like I was saying, Steven was hitting the ball in the range, and he was actually hitting it pretty good. I'll grab you. All right, let's go ahead and not say that. I was gonna go with the two iron. That's a power move. I don't wanna see that little movement backwards. I didn't do that movement. Shot. Woo! Sit down. Yes. 
Let's we go. got a little chunky with it. See, you're swinging too hard. All right, here's Matt. Chunked it just sort of bunker. I really don't know if this helps your game. Probably doesn't, but we're just going to go with it. There it is. You hit it? Yeah, really good. Is it good? Get up! Oh, it's just short. Okay. All right, you got a chip for Bogue. Why can't I do that the first time? You're swinging too hard the first time. Yeah. All right, Garrett didn't hit the car path. He hit the actual road and it kicked him up here, but... Mark. I have 140 yards, guys. Got the little nine iron. I'm just trying to play this one at the middle of the green, and my goal, honestly, is just to shoot under par. Under? If someone actually shoots under par today, though, that would be insane. This challenge is actually really hard, guys. You should try it. Yeah, try it at home. Try it down below. Ooh. I got a birdie putt. You got a bird. Yeah, me and Matt are chipping. All right, Steven up here uh, in the right center of the fairway. What's the deal? What's the deal? What club do you got? Well, I'm 120 out, and you already know what I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you guys. That side, so I'm going to aim. I'm decent at Yeah, it. Steven's pretty good at the challenge. Oh, my God. Bro, as soon as you said that, I knew it was in the bunker. <laughs> Alright, so obviously, as you can tell there, guys, Steven smashed it in the bunker. Matt is just short of the green here. He's got a chip to get up and down for par. No, actually, for bogey. Take that back. Matt was pretty confident coming into the challenge. We'll see what he can do, guys. So, I'm in the bunker, as you people can see. You're putting? I no. like it. No, that's for your par. What, what shots, you gotta go like this? Well... I think wet shots might be a little different. There, that's why I put it. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong, actually. Well, well Garrett's putting because he's on the green. I might put my bunker shot, not too sure yet. Right, here's Matt with his putt for par. If you would hit it, that's a good line. Holy, okay. About 20 yards, 20 feet short. I got a bunker shot. Freak. Honestly, you guys, that wasn't that bad. That was bad. Oh, well, you're putting for double. This is where things get weird. I'm going to start back here and take some off it on the downswing. Oh, God. See, this is where it gets tough. Yeah, if I wasn't in a bunker. If I would have done that the first time. Steve is for double, you're for bogey. I need to make this for my double. <laughs> Off the toe. God, this challenge sucks. Who who told me to do this? Whoever whoever sent me the DM saying do this. <sighs> All right, we're gonna look at Garrett for his birdie putt. This challenge sucks. I don't know how he's for birdie. Yo, here's well, my theory on the putting guys. Is this is kind of what you do. You find where your backswing is gonna be anyway. Probably about right there. Rehearse it. How do we? Straight. You can go up, out. Ah, that was bad. That's tough. That's for your par. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, jeez. It, oh my god, that was a good putt. That's for, we're both for double, right? Yeah. Oh, you're for triple, I'm for double. Bridge, that's a hard putt. Bro, we look like robots. Yeah. He made it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a tap in. <laughs> that's not even a tap in, I don't think, with a robotic putt. This is for my quad. Oh my god. <laughs> you hit the grass. One handed. All right, plus five. I am plus five through one. Think about that. I'm good. All right, here, all right, here's Garrett for his bar. Underneath. Oh my gosh. So whoa. that's bogey. That's for bogey. So I gotta Four. make my double. I'm for seven. How clutch would this be? This would be a nice six because I only made I made bogey, so he's still in it if he makes this. No way! Seven. That's gonna be a triple. 
five, seven, nine. Five over, three over, and one over. This is a short par four, our next hole, so I'm gonna drive the green like always. This challenge is so hard. I, it's probably gonna mess up our golf game, but that's fine, because mine was already messed up. I hope you guys enjoy us hacking away. I just have a question. Who's gonna pay to play a course just to start trying our challenges? Uh, that's a tough question to answer, Martin. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, this, this challenge might be super hard, but if you get really good at it, it can, you can impress a lot of people. Yeah, dude, I, I'm so good with no backswing. Like, dude, my game is so good. Okay, well think about it, like your distance, like we can still hit the ball pretty far. Yeah, like I hit that five iron probably a little over 200 yards. Yeah, but it take, it splits, like it's 50% if you're gonna hit it good or not. It's like a 50-50 chance. Right, because I did, I did chuck one done. I chucked a putt. I don't even know how that's possible. All right, this is hole 13, aka our second hole. We got two holes left after this. It is a drivable par four, 320 yards. We're playing up two tee boxes, just to let you know. There's no way it's drivable with no backswing, though. I mean, maybe. I'm going to sit on it, swing as hard as I can. Hope for the best, guys. All right, here's Garrett. Is that straight down the middle? A little right, but it should be fairway. They're pretty good. Never saw it. I think it's over there. All right, here's Matt. It's kind of hard we're out at First Cell Farms because we don't have any of our stuff like the wheel. Of not ideal. Yeah, so it's hard to, to throw up a wheel of not ideal with imaginary wheel. We've tried it once, didn't work. All right, here's Matt. For some reason, we keep skying it. Where'd it go? Straight up. It's gonna be like, I'm not gonna be able to fall it down, but it's gonna be just stuff to that bunker. Jeez, did that go in? Oh, it might have gone in the bunker. Frick. It might have gone right over. This challenge is tough. One of the toughest challenges we've ever done. Guys, are you entertained right now? Let us know down below. Good ball. Why are you skying? It's gonna be left side, but why? You just got teed up a little lower. I teed that up on the ground almost. Oh. Steven is in a gutter, which means he gets to move his ball. What do you got in your hand? Nine. Nine iron. Nine no iron. backswing. One from 120. Frick. I can get up and out the bar. I'm in a bunker, bro. How was a bunker shot? Guys, this is hard. Honestly, a lot harder than I thought it would be. All right, here's what Matt looking at. He is in a bunker. This is going to be hard. Like, it feels smooth. Like, when I do it, it feels smooth. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, he got it. He got it perfectly. You good? Woo! He's on the green. All right, here's Garrett. Matt is on the green for his birdie. I'm right over there for my up and down for bird. I got 49 yards. This one goes out to my boy, Tom Holland. I'm just going to try and make this one. This is tough, guys. Uh, in between her shot. Oh, sit, 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 sit. That's gonna be a tough putt, but that's for your bird. Steven here, just short of the green. I putt this. Sit. <laughs> sit, I got a par putt. I don't know if anybody cares. Let's touch my ball. Our balls are almost touching. All right, here is what we're looking at. Uh, Garrett is for birdie, Matt is for birdie, and I'm for par just in front of Garrett. I'm going to go ahead and mark my ball. You chunked a little bit before the ball. Chunk to the putt, boys, girls. Well, how does that... Still rolled out pretty good. I gave Steven the line. It's a pretty straight putt. Yeah. This is harder than I've ever... Yeah, this is the hardest challenge, I feel like. I top mine, but it's gonna go good. That's gonna be good. That's really good. A tap in par, but it's not a tap in because. That's for bogey? All right, here's what Matt is looking at. I'm feeling a little chunky, not gonna lie. The natural tendency is to chunk the ball. That was actually a really good putt. That was such a good putt. I'm actually happy with that. I don't care if it's long, it was a good putt.
Good putt. It's a really good putt. That is a great putt. That is going to go. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, tap that in, Garrett, for your bow. This is for Matt to stay at three over. See, even if he makes that, we'll be at six over. Last hit. Tap it in for your dub. That's for your bow. All right. Boy. Just tell everyone to turn their phone sideways. It'll be funny. You can make it. Ah! Double. So I started with the quad double. Quad double. Actually, you were five over on the first ball. That's what, exactly what I said. So now I'm seven. A two, four, seven. I, there's two holes left. I can I can open it up. We got a par four and a par three. Anything's possible in this challenge, guys. It's kind of like playing left-handed, I feel like. Yeah, left-handed is literally impossible. A uh, hole 14 is a 340 par four. These people are probably, what the heck is going on? But we're gonna watch Garrett smack one. That's out there, boys. Almost drove the green. I hit that really good, guys. That was uh, that was one of my better ones today. The bigger the backswing you take, if you can get it past parallel, it forces you to come down and not go back. We keep topping it. That was dead straight. Good ball for Matt. Steven's walking in front of the frame. That's perfect. Right. Yeah. I'm teeing it up so low so I don't freaking sky it in the air again. Oh, how are we doing that? Hazel shame. Hazel shame. All right, simple. Simple. Play. All right, Steven's got 200 yards to the pin. What's the deal? I'm hitting a hybrid. There might be noise in the background. It's because people are mowing. I hit a massive slice for some reason with this no backswing. So I'm just going to aim out at that tree. He's going to aim over there. It bounced. I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, 144 to the I pin. I iron. I'm going to try to take a little less backswing. And hit it right more pure. Here. More of a power punch shot, maybe. That could have been the strategy. You, less of a backswing. Right. More club. Topped it, but that's going to be oh, so that's good. So good. Gosh, watch you're so it, lucky. Watch it. Oh, I probably rolled off the back. Probably, probably rolled off the back of the... Yeah, I yeah, just... I did. Dang it, that's, that's a pretty good play, I mean, though. That's a good chip up and down. All right, here's Garrett's chip. What are you thinking? Well, you're in play. Yeah, I'm in play over there. I don't know. I can either play it safe or go at it, which we don't lay up on this channel, so... Short. Get up, no, get up, get up, good. get up. Oh, oh, that's oh. so good. But it kicked right. Oh, it's still long. How are you guys doing? That's good. Stevie Wonder now. Uh, you don't have to flop this, so that's good for you. Oh, frick. Come on. Come on. <sighs> okay, now Steven's looking at this. There you go. It always takes me two tries to get on that hill. Get on that hill. Get on that hill. How do you sit on a hill? That's for my bogey. I'm pl I said it was going to be bogey golf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here is Matt's birdie look. He has a chip. Open up the face a little bit. Bogey look. Matt's par looks right in here. Let's let's take a look. I have to. Holy crap! That is exactly what you want to look at. I mean, you suck at bunker shots before the swingless challenge. What the frick? Uh, you want to go ahead and concede this hole? It's in the middle of that stuff. No, the water. Go get it. Follow it. All right, so we're gonna let him drop. We're gonna watch Garrett go ahead and go and finish this hole. This is for his birdie. Good distance, just didn't break. 
That could be a par, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at my putt. I'm gonna record Matt here. He's dropping, he's hitting six, folks. Tough spot, tough position for Matt. There it is. That could be, he's got that for seven. Um, for my five. This is for Steven's bogey, guys. Ooh. That was a good look. I mean, that was a good look. All right, here's Matt for his seven. Here's for Matt's eight. Go ahead and tap it in. He sits with an eight. Attaboy. Frick. All right, here's for my six. So now Matt is eight over par. This is for Steven's six and to be nine over par. See, you hit it so short. It for That's so annoying. So, 10 over. 10 over, 8 over. Now, this is for me to say it 2 over. This is for Garrett to say it 2 over, a.k.a. 12. Okay, Steven's 10 over par. Matt's 8 over par. Just, I'm 2 over par. On to the last hole. Final hole is a par 3. This challenge is literally pissing me off. I'm going to go ahead and go home, watch some YouTube videos about horses, and go to sleep. Watch camels in the desert run around and stuff. All right, here is the final hole, par three, 170 yards, downwind. Garrett's gonna be hitting a five. I'm gonna be hitting a five, and Matt's probably gonna be hitting a seven. This is a tough guy. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to, that didn't get over. No, I may not have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go next. We might have a chance. Psych, it's the last hole. It'll be interesting, because if he's in there and can't find it, he'll have to DROP up there. So me and Steve can hit some nice shots here. Oh, there's a caterpillar right on the lens, you guys. Hello. It really isn't, like, the thing is, you just gotta stay down. You gotta stay dialed, because that was, like, right See him? on line. If I would've hit it solid. He's gonna say hello to the camera. Say hello. I wanna be part of the YouTube channel. I wanna be part of Steve's YouTube channel. We're gonna call you caddy. All right, sorry, you've been looking at my face a lot. Steven now has switched to a what? Five iron. I just licked my lips. Hey! It's pretty solid. <laughs> That's gonna be my first decent looking birdie, and it's not even good. Untuck your arm, and I'm not even kidding when I say this. To get your normal power, take your backswing to there so you can pull down. Look. Yeah. What the heck are we thinking? If Matt hits his good. If he doesn't, then we're like, all right, we're dumb. I don't know, I think it's gonna work. Yep, oh I told you, God. I told you. That's gotta sit. That's gotta sit now. Oh, oh my God. I literally, bro. I knew it. I knew that was it. so clean, so you just gotta be up. Why do we figure the challenge out at the end? If that's you guys are watching this, we just figured it out. I didn't, they did. I mean, that's what you get for knowing you get your, the some... golf swing. Would have played it like that in the beginning. Hey, yeah. We would have shot a little better. Challenge over, Steven. Let's start over. We'll just do a part two if, if these people like it. This is for his. I know. It worked. Over. Too much power. I just watched a great edit by Bradley, and it was probably Bradley. When you're watching this, I just want to say, right, I said it in the last video, you're not getting enough love and support. Everybody who's watching this, check him out. He's been editing our videos while we've been down here in Bama, and it's literally insane the things he comes up with. Get it up at the top, and then, like, really focus on, like, pulling your hands down. Okay, that's a whole, that's a lot of backswing. Because you're really... Oh, my gosh! That's Told you it worked, Steve! That's my par putt. I can't believe we figured it out on the last hole. If you guys are still watching, we figured it out the very end. If you guys want to see a part two with us, our new and improved backswing, now that we know what we're doing, let us snow. One plus six is four. All right, here's for Garrett's bogey. If he chips in, he makes this to shoot three over, which is pretty insane. Get under it. Get under Can't it! Hold. You figured it out. I, mean, I did figure it out. Guess. Did mine land long in the green? Yes. All right, here's Matt. Birdie look. Honestly, this would be clutch if I could end it with a birdie. I'll be very happy. Yeah, yeah honestly, it, pissed me off. Has to give it 10, 
Oh yeah, if you make a birdie, it's 10K likes. All right, if, if he misses 75. it, you get to go do his latest video and make the dislikes as many as there is likes. All right, here's Matt. Oh, let's actually try let's that. Do that. Okay, so if I make it, Steven gets 10,000 likes. If I miss this, you gotta go to my latest video, whatever it is, and as many dislikes as you can get on. Yeah, I want more dislikes than there is likes, which isn't hard to do, you can beat 50. Let's see if we can get like 1,000. Even if he makes it, let's see if we can get like 10,000 dislikes. Right, oh you guys my know what gosh. to do. You guys know what to do. That was such a good putt. Let's go for 2K dislikes. Let's see if we can't get it. Steven with this waterlogged ball from Athena, Greece. The robotic swing. Dude, the robotic swing is actually kind of clean. For a double. He missed oh, it. Flip. Missed Five. it. That's Triple. Tough. I'm going to tap. That's in. I'm going to tap in. This isn't even a tap in. This craziest thing it is for you though cash right. i've just been playing bogey golf all right this is matt's par first of the day that's his par yes all right what'd you shoot uh eight he oh. shot eight garrett what'd you shoot uh, you, got five over. you went 13. five eight no, you were 11. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We figured out on the last hole, really pissed me off. Another thing, I don't have I don't have any way of getting a haircut or uh, shaving the beard, so I'd be looking crusty. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We figured out on the last part. If you even stayed tuned this long, go ahead and leave a comment about how horsey and go dislike Matt's video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're old, hit the subscribe button. Like always, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. I don't, I don't know what to say. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.